become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Hi, John. What brings you to town? Hi, Mary. Lily wanted me to buy her some things for the party. What do you think of the traffic today? It's pretty bad. Yeah, you can say that again. It's noisy too. I am glad I did not drive a car. Hello, I am Billy and I made an appointment with you to see the house. Glad to meet you. This way, please. The house is a little too old. But it's quite convenient for you to go to any part of the city. The subway is nearby. Yes, that's why I like the house. Hello, are you shopping here today? Haven't I seen you in some flea markets and thrift shops a couple of times? I'm just comparing prices. You should. This thrift shop is really cheap, though. You have to pay cash here. But they don't let you have goods on approval. Hello, Oriental Hotel. I'd like to speak to Mark Baker, please. I'm sorry, Mr. Baker's not in. May I take your message? Yes, tell him Mr. Cook called and ask him to return my call as soon as he back. All right, Mr. Cook. I have Mr. Baker called you back as soon as he gets here. Can I get you something to drink? Sure, but I don't drink much. So I don't know what to order. So how about an aperitif? It sounds good. I'd like to start with a compare. Stirred or shaken? Stirred will be fine. Here you are. Thanks. Does the bar have a signature drink? Sure. All of our mixed drinks are excellent. You can also try a delicious non-alcoholic cocktail. Can you recommend one? Try a singer. It has lime juice and grenadine over ice. It sounds interesting. I'll take one. Here we go. It tastes great. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Did you lock the doors? All except the back door. I left that open for Tim. He took the dog for a walk. Well, I'm going on to bed. I'm beat. Okay, I'm going to stay up a while. I've got to go over the household budget. We're a little overspent this month. Please tell Tim to close the door to the basement. I don't want the dog down there tonight. Okay, good night. See you at breakfast. Let me help you with that. Thanks very much. You really shouldn't be lifting this by yourself. I know, but there was nobody else. Morning, Tom. What are you doing over there? Learning to dance? Can't you see? I'm practicing Tai Chi. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, but I don't think Tai Chi is to be practiced like that. I'm just a beginner. Did my poses make me the butt of jokes? Well, they just look a bit funny. But far from making a laughing stock out of you. So, is there anything wrong with my strokes? To begin with, you should keep your neck erect upward at any time. Like this? Good. And then, the entire body. Never incline your body forward or backward. Take care to regulate the point of balance. Place it at your waist. 
Did I do it right? No. You should avoid sticking out your belly. Keep your hips steady. Don't swing. What should I do with my legs then? Oh, yes. Things are quite different with the limbs. Keep your knees bent a little. Right. They should be rich in elasticity. Move slowly when you shift your center of gravity from one leg to another. Fantastic. I guess the same is true with the arms, right? Exactly. Move your arms in a relaxed manner. Well, don't stretch your fingers stiffly. Just keep them in a natural shape. It's your turn, sir. I'm sorry that you've had to wait. That's all right. Show me the blue pen, please. Okay, it's here. One of the best makes in China. I see. Thank you. I need to buy some flowers for my wife. Perhaps you'd be interested in red roses. What would the roses cost me? They're only $20 a dozen. I like the sound of that. Yes, that is today's sale price. A dozen will be fine. Is there anything else you'd like to get? No, thank you. These roses should make your wife very happy. Excuse me, when's the next bus? The next bus will be here in four minutes. Oh, good. That'll be the number 44? No, it's the number 58. So when's the next 44? Will it be here soon? No, it won't. So when will it be here then? Never. Never? That's right. The number 44 doesn't stop here anymore. Its stop is round the corner. I'm broke, and I have to catch another bus. Why don't you have any money for another bus? I got hungry and bought some chips. That was smart. Anyway, do you have any change I can use for the bus? I don't have any. I don't know how I'm going to get home. Get a transfer from the bus driver. How much is a transfer? It doesn't cost anything. That's great. Thanks for your help. You know what? Don't mention it. Waiter, please bring me some toast. Sure. What kind of toast do you like? Pardon? We have white toast, whole wheat toast and rye toast. I see. Bring me the whole wheat toast. Anything to drink? Milk, please. I would love to rent out your apartment. That's great. How much is the rent? The rent each month is $1,050. That's a lot of money. Did you have a better price in mind? What about $800? That's way too low. I can't pay much more than that. How about $900 a month? That would be fine. Great. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Do you take vitamin pills regularly? No, I don't, do you? Yes. Maybe you should do it too. You may not get enough vitamins from your food, you know. But, I don't believe in taking pills to get enough vitamins. How's that? Because it's better, easier and cheaper to get them from the food we eat.
Can I take your order? I'll take two value meals. What kind of drink do you want with those? One Coke and the other a Sprite, please. You can supersize your meal for only 39 cents extra. Yes, I'd like that, then. How about anything for dessert like an apple pie or ice cream? No, thanks. That will be all. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.